Hi, I'm Wendy with Nashville Restoration, and today we're going to make some clear wax to use with chalk paint. You need a quarter of a cup of white beeswax pellets, and you need a cup of either baby oil or mineral oil. You're also going to need a mason jar with a lid. So just put your beeswax and baby oil in your mason jar. It's got to be a mason jar because other jars you cannot put in boiling water, so make sure it's a, a mason jar. Put it on the stove and fill the water so it's just a half inch below the level of the wax or else your jar will float up. Put the stove on a medium-high heat and stand by. You're going to stir it every couple minutes just to get it mixed up. And it is done when the wax pellets disappear and it looks like this. It's pretty much clear when it's done. You can let it cool in the pan, but if you want to do it uh, more quickly, which I usually do, just carefully remove it from the pan. It is hot oil and it's very dangerous, so do it with a great deal of caution and use some pot holders. Once you're ready to cool it, put some ice water in a pan and once again just below the level of the oil. And you're just going to stir this every few minutes until it starts to turn cloudy, like a cloudy white. Once it looks like this, this took about 10 minutes of just stirring every couple minutes. Take it out of the ice water and put the lid on and shake it up. You're going to come back and shake it up 30 seconds every five minutes or so until it has reached room temperature. Once it's room temperature, it will stay like this. It will look like this, and that is your clear wax. This looks pretty much exactly like the clear wax that I have purchased from uh, some name brand companies. And I can't tell the difference when I use it. It brushes right on, just like the other waxes do, the commercially prepared waxes. I came up with this recipe doing some research, trying to figure out what was in clear wax. And these were the two most common ingredients, so I skipped any additives and just went with these two. And the shaking it up is really important. That's what keeps it blended. If you don't shake it up, um, it's going to, you know, kind of separate. So I wanted to show you what it looks like on furniture. So uh, this is just a basic white table. I'm going to brush it on just like any other clear wax. Um, I don't use a wax brush. I use this type of brush. It's like a $6 brush, and I can't tell a difference in the brushes either. I mean, after you brush it on, you're still going to come back and wipe it down, and then if you're distressing, you're going to sand. So it's me. If you like the brush you're using and the wax goes on, then that's the brush you should use. So as you do with any wax, you wipe the wax down after you put it on there. If you're distressing, this is when you would distress when the wax is still um, freshly on there. It's a lot easier to distress uh, than waiting for the wax to actually dry and set up. So I did some of this distressing off camera because I'm going to break out the electric sander because hand sanding the top is pretty intense. So this is what it looks like afterwards. Um, this is my clear wax results. I'm completely happy with it. I've been painting for many years, both houses and furniture, and uh, I think this works great. So thank you for watching. 
Please check back for more videos. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a video you would like to see, send me a message. I also put up videos all the time. So please check back for new stuff. Thank you.